Okay, this iThrive.com film clip is about how simple and easy and inexpensive it is to just use the camera light on your iPhone to measure your heart rate variability, your pulse. It's helpful to understand the science just a little bit. It's really very simple. When your heart beats, there's something called vasoconstriction, vasodilation, where a little bit about the blood comes closer to the surface of the skin. So as the blood comes closer to the surface of the skin, the light penetrance, the ability of light to enter and be bounced back, is reduced slightly. It's called vasodilation. Remember, this is the mystical order of the red hand. Those who can relax can make their hand turn red, warm, and when you touch your lover, your hand is warm because they're able to relax. So the skill to relax is the esoteric order of the red hand. Vasodilate versus the vasoconstricted society where everybody is white and palmy and is unable to relax and vasodilate. So this is a lesson in relaxation. Anyway, so the, using the camera light just uses that physics to test the light penetration and measure the pulse. So when we're setting up the camera light here, Patrick is going to demonstrate, and I'm just going to zoom in on the camera. So you hold your finger on the light. Yes. The, to, to get the, the Mayo wave, the, so the, the, the wave which is uh, on, the, on the, the other wave, you, you don't have to move. The, then you, you don't have to change the, the pressure, the pressure of your finger. So very still. You want to be yeah, very still. Yes, it has to be very still. Yes, it's, you have to learn how to. to it takes a little to practice try, to, to try, get used yeah, to being very still with your finger. Okay. So now the light is on. This See is, the, uh, the light is on, and so it's measuring Patrick's so pulse. The buses. You see, there are, these are correct pulses. Yeah. See now that the fact that that but wave if, looks if so clean. If I move, you will clean. see. Well, you see there is a jump, and you have to avoid this kind of jump. Yeah, so that Which movement is, creates an artifact, yes, it's obvious. Yes, so you just yes. it basically stills. But look how beautiful and clean that data is now. So Patrick's getting beautiful heart rate variability data just from the candlelight, just by learning to be still. You see, this is the wave in, in, inside the wave. Yes, you see the little curve on the curve there. Like, like the, the tops of the waves go up and down in, in synchrony, like a wave on the wave. And that's the pressure wave, which is showing up beautifully here. Let's zoom in just a little bit. But each time you, you change the pressure of your finger, or you move your finger, you will get the jump. Do, yes. you see, yeah. You see here, this is the jump. And yeah, so you want to avoid movement. It's really very simple, actually. And then... You see, these are movement, these yeah. are jump. And that creates a bit of an here, artifact. Here, here again, we get the wave on the wave. Yeah, so as long as you're still, you're getting beautiful, clean, amazing data, actually, which is beautiful. Now, Patrick mm -hmm. is going to just show us another little trick that you can use, that if you want to be still for a longer period of time, you yes. can actually use a rubber band just to help stabilize the way you relax your finger on your so iPhone. You just place the rubber band on the top of your iPhone. Like this. There's a rubber band on there. And this is the rubber band that will make the pressure between your finger and the iPhone. So you will not induce any other pressure. That's right. So the rubber band is holding the pressure for you. And that means you can keep a very constant, even pressure. Let me just zoom out the camera here. I'm just trying to follow your fingers there, Patrick. There we go. Okay, so now his finger is stabilized. So this is, the pressure now is done by the rubber band and the, the, the weight of the, of the iPhone on my finger. But that, it, it will reduce completely the, 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 the movement artifact. Now there won't be noise. So now he's going to set that up again and we'll see that on the screen how clean that data will look then. So this is just a, a trick that if you want to create say longer term data more than a few minutes with the there, see how clean that data is, how beautiful that yellow curve is on the bottom. You see beautiful pulses. That's beautiful pulse. And now you're seeing that curve of the curve of the wave on the wave there being deformed. Very nice, very nice. So now if you let that run for a minute, right, we're going to see the more detailed harmonic analysis. Is that right? So maybe explain what's on the screen. So you have the musical key signature on the top left. Yes, here. Yeah, that, that's the actual musical key signature of your heart harmonics. G sharp now. Yeah, I'm moving. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I moved a little I'm bit. I'm moving while it's turning around. Yeah. You have to, 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 
to be very relaxed and uh, very calm still. and very yeah. still to use this. It's a very, very cheap sensor, but it's not easy to use, and yeah, you have to, to, well, to as learn as, a little bit. As long as you're still, but you're actually getting some beautiful data. So yeah, you see, you see now the wave. In the yeah, way. that's the curvature. It's looking very nice. Yeah. So this is the yeah. heartbeat interval. This is the LF and the HF component. The blue is the LF component from the heart rate variability. The yellow is the LF component from the pressure wave, and that's what we la later look at the phase relationship, right? Mm -hmm. And this. Pulses here, the wave on these pulses here yeah. is the yellow curve here, yeah. which is appearing. The pressure wave. Yeah. And what's nice is here you have an inexpensive transducer, it's built into your iPhone, and if you learn to be still with it, you can see that pressure wave, and so you can see the long term Mayer wave on all that fun stuff on the heart rate variability without even ordering a transducer. So it's a great way to get started with iThrive.com. So that's the camera light. And then later it shows a higher resolution display and we're going to talk about storing and retrieving displays and reports in another film. Thank you.